afternoon everybody it's monday almost two o'clock um i almost can't believe the day has been drifting away i've been here on the laptop um i did a just fab haul video earlier for you guys and i'm um, thinking about doing a giveaway video for the african earrings that i wore in um in one of my well a few of my vlogs so i got some in and i'm gonna probably do a giveaway video for that um and then maybe i'll just wait and then see like what color the winners would like and then i'll just do it that color instead of the the natural color but and then again if that's the color you want then hey simple um i've been filling out applications doing some work online i'm always i'm always figuring out ways to make money that's just um who i am i'm planning on going up to hobby lobby on wednesday to see what the deal is with them um from what i've been hearing from the managers is the store doesn't do that well, so they don't have a great budget for new employees, which sucks for me. But um, I'm just hoping something else comes through because I hate being bored and not doing anything. So that that's what comes into play with me doing other things to have a source of income. I just feel that if I'm going to be home, I need to be doing something to make extra money so um, i always have a, a plan out my sleeve so um the kids are having red ribbon week this week so today they my daughter went in a jersey and my son he had on atlanta hawks uh, t-shirt um probably this probably be a three-day vlog because like i said i haven't been doing much um waiting on my check to come in the mail let me tell y'all so i'm waiting friday like ooh, direct deposit my last check nothing nothing <laughs> my check was not direct deposit it went to the store in savannah so i had to call my manager and he mailed my check but i i mean i'm i'm really tripping because i don't think he overnighted or anything i already got the mail from today so this was friday if he didn't send it out Friday or Saturday, who knows when the hell I'm going to get my check. But that, to me, sucks because now I have to wait. But, um, oh, well, I'll just be um, chilling out. Okay, I want y'all to get into what I have on. <laughs> this is so me, like high school. Um, I used to do shit like this. But this is when I'm, like, my most comfortable. I am not, like, no dressy, dressy girl. I love comfortable, so I'm about to get ready to go pick up the kids from school, and I'm just comfortable, you know, I, why the fuck do I need to get dressed up to go pick them up from school, right? Hey everybody, what's up? It is, what day is it? Tuesday. So I'm getting dressed, uh, I'm going to head to the commissary with the hubs about noon when he comes on his lunch. Um, the weather has changed a little bit, so I have a long sleeve. I'm going to put on my quilted boots that I showed in my Just Fab uh, haul video. Um, it's like 60 in the 60s today, and the wind is blowing, so it's a different uh, vibe today. Last week it was pretty hot. Saturday it was hot. Um, yesterday I had a slight chill, so, you know, the temperature here, very it just changes out the blue, so... Daddy already did it. Hey! You still can't whistle? No. No, No. No. Girl, you getting close? Library Mouse. What's that? A Friend's Tale. That's a long book, honey. <laughs> Sam was a library mouse. He lived in a little hole in the wall behind the children's reference books. Sam loved to read, and he loved to write too. Everyone loved his little books, but Sam was very shy, and no one at the library had ever met him. 
Once a, once a week, the children at the library met for writers and illustrators club. For our next project, said Ms. Forrester, the library, I would like all the boys and girls to work with a partner. One of you will be the author and the other will be the illustrator. You will find out how teamwork can make a great book. At the this end of the not, meeting... What is this? Is it non-fiction or... Oh, it's not. Mm, we'll find out at the end if it's non-fiction or fiction, okay? Mm, you better. Woo, child. At the end of the meeting, there was one child left standing by himself. Don't worry, Tom, said Miss Forrester. I'd be happy to work with you. When night came, Sam the library mouse went to do some research for a story he was planning to write. All night long, he studied, jotting down things in his notebook. But as the sun rose, his eyelids grew heavy and he fell asleep. Squeak! Sam awoke with a start as children filled into the room. In his hurry to escape, he left his little notebook behind. Tom discovered it on the library's desk. Carefully, he opened the cover and turned the pages. Then he went to tug at Miss Forrester's sleep. What's this? said the librarian, flipping through the notebook. From the titles of the stories in here, I would guess this belongs to Sam, our mystery author. He's written so many books, and yet we've never met and had the pleasure of meeting him. Let's put it back on your desk, said Tom, so Sam will find it. Look at all the books that Sam wrote. That night, Sam climbed onto the librarian's desk to look for his notebook. As he hurried back across the desk with his prize in his arms, the mouse stepped across an ink pad and left behind a trail of footprints. Uh-oh. Good morning, Miss Forrester said to Tom when he arrived early the next day. Did you bring some ideas for the story we can work on together? Not yet, said Tam said